During this virtual macaque lesson, we are going to be creating this super colorful little sunset using just a sheet of drawing paper and a few colored pencils. I've got the hot colors, red, orange, and yellow. I also have pink, blue, and black as well. Now, firstly, what we're going to do is create a smaller page within our page for very good reason. Pencil colors are hard work. They are a serious material to use. So what we're going to do to make less work for ourselves is we're going to create a small frame. So using just black pencil here, well you could really use any color. I'm going to come down and I'm going to go across here at the top and then I'm going to come down again and across again at the bottom. So there is my little picture frame for my pencil colors. Now you will understand why when we start to create. We are gonna be layering up so many gorgeous colors to create depth. We don't want a huge area to fill. We're going to keep it small so we can really concentrate all our energy and creativity in this little area here. Not kidding, pencil colors, hard work. Now I'm turning my work on its side to make a more comfortable angle for my hand to work in. You can do the same if you'd like to. Now what I'm going to do, slide my pencils out a little bit to give me some space here. I'm going in with yellow first. A little tricky to see, it is the lightest color, but a very important color. Yellow is our light bulb. It illuminates, brightens up our entire sunset. Be generous with your yellow. So what I'm going to do is come roughly two thirds of the way down my drawing here and I'm gonna create a nice line, a nice straight line that goes across my frame. This is my horizon line, okay? It shows where the ocean finishes and the sky begins. It's a very, very important line. Now right above my horizon line is going to be my sunshine, which is going down, so it's very low. So anywhere along your line, anywhere you like, draw a little circle. Just a little one. We don't want a huge circle in the sky, just a little sun. There we are. Now remember what I said, yellow, this is your light bulb. Ding! It's going to light up our beautiful sunset, so be generous. Now to start off with, I've got a large area to fill. I am not using the pointy sharp bit. I'm gonna be using the flat, the length of the pencil, not the point, the length of the pencil. So I'm gonna lay my pencil down on its side. Here we go, back and forth. On top of my horizon, I'm pressing nice and hard. I want people to see this yellow. There we go. Now as I come up, I am starting to take off the pressure and I am pressing lighter and lighter and lighter. Can you see my color starting to smooth back into the white of the paper? Yet down here, it is bold and bright. And as we come up, lighter and lighter and I'm tickling the paper now and it's gone. It's drifted off into the white. Let's do that again over here. It takes practice, learning how to take off the pressure and blend a smooth blend, so much practice. So keep going. There we go, and you can see my little sunshine glimmering through. Now, what we need to think of is our ocean is a reflection of our sky. Everything that goes on up here is going to be mirrored down here in the water. Most people think water, it's blue. No, this is a giant mirror. So we're going to add yellow down in our ocean as well. Now we want to focus our yellow more in the center here. So here we go, using the flat again. Lovely, lovely. All the way down, nice and bright. I'm not taking it right to the edges because I know I'm gonna have dark coming in around here. So you're not really going to see the yellow that far out. 
There we are. For now, I am done with the yellow. I'm going to pop it over there and go to my next color, which will be orange. Now, I've pre-selected colors for mine. You can do different colors. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. No two sunsets are the same. So have fun, experiment, play with colors, do whatever you would like. Now, first of all, I'm going to pick up my horizon line. There he is. He's back. A nice dark line. Remember, super important. Sky, ocean, horizon line, where the two of them meet. And then my sun. Okay, so I want to add some nice golden tones going up around my sunshine here. So again, I'm using the flat, not the pointy bit, the flat on its side. Gently back and forth. Not pressing as hard because I still want that glorious yellow showing through. Do you see how it's making such a vibrant orange, having that yellow glowing through my orange? There we go. Around my sun. Nice and low down. Taking off the pressure as we drift up, tickling back into the white of the paper there. See how my yellows and oranges are nice and low, close to my horizon line. I still have all this space up here, which I'll be adding different colors to in a little bit. So back down here again. Remember what goes on in our sky needs to happen in our water. But this is a little bit tricky. I have a sun here, and that sun is going to be creating a pathway of light underneath it here. So with my orange, I want to focus on building up orange in my water, again, bringing my pencil back and forth, on either side of my sunshine, like this. So do you see that little pathway of light down through the center? Leaving that alone. That is the reflection of my sun. Here we go. Now I just tip my pencil up to the point, and I'm scratching it back and forth, creating the illusion of some lovely ripples in the water. Our sky is lovely and smooth, yet we want that ripply texture down in the water. Whip, whip, whip. Back and forth. There we go. Lovely. Okay, orange I am done with for now. I may return to that color later on, but for now I like it. And I'm going to go to my red next. Still working down in my hot colors. My hot colors are burning through this sunset right now. Gorgeous. I'm again going to whip along my horizon line to get that to stand out a little bit more. Now I'm going to create a little bit of texture in my sky low down. So I'm using the point in my sky. I'm going to chisel it in and just create some kind of streaky clouds low down here. Maybe one on the other side as well. Yours does not have to look like mine. Play around. Add some different features, different cloud formations. And I'm going to cleverly push this red, pressing a little bit lighter this time, right around the lower section of my sun. Do you see how adding that darker color around my sun is getting my sun to pop forward? The contrast between light and dark pushes light forward and dark back. Very, very important and very, very clever for creating illusions in our work. There we are. What's in the sky goes into the water. So here we are again. Whip, whip, whip. I'm using the point and I'm doing some short little flex. Being super careful to stay away from my pathway of light here all the way out to the sides looking lovely okay I am done with my red now I am going to move to my pink I'm going to go with pink now don't worry boys doing this thinking I don't want pink in my sunset doesn't matter it's actually going to turn into another color a little bit later on so what I'm going to do is use the flat of my pencil here Starting up high, this time I'm right at the very top of my picture frame here, and I'm going to press hard. I am putting lots of pressure on this pencil. Oh, that's glorious. Look at that color. Wonderful. Look how much that's standing out. 
next to my yellow. Wonderful. Nice and hard as I come down, you guessed it, taking off the pressure. Gently blending back into the white of the paper. Be very careful not to pull this pink down too far. But here's a sneaky tip for you. If you have brought it down quite far, you can actually lighten pencil colors a lot by using an eraser. There you go. Now they do stain the paper, so it's very difficult to get it out completely, but you can most definitely lighten it. There we are. So smooth from the dark down into the light. Now I absolutely love this pink color, so what I'm going to do is add some interesting shapes. I just tipped up to the point as well. I'm going to create some interesting little clouds coming in from the side. So here one on this side and again on the opposite side. Have a play around with yours. Here's a good tip. Stop every now and then. Make yourself stop. Hands up. Lean back and look at your sunset. You don't want all of your clouds or whatever texture you have in your sky to be exactly the same. We want it to be nice and random. Random shapes, random heights. You see one is higher, one is lower. To create a nice natural looking sunset. There we are. What's in my sky? In my water. You guessed it. So here we go again. This time I'm working right on the outside edge. My pencil always starts on the outside edge and I whip in, whip it nice and hard in, like that. Now as I'm doing this, naturally my hand lifts as it goes towards the center, creating a thinner pencil line that makes my ripples look more realistic. So I never start here and come back I always start from the outside and go in, like that. Same on the other side. Start on the outside and come in. Another thing you will notice is my ripples don't go like this. They don't go like that. They're going straight, running parallel with my horizon line and the bottom of my page. They are nice and straight, like that. Really fill it in. If you're a huge fan of pink, add even more. If you're not a fan of pink, then take it easy. We can always tone it down with the blue, which is coming up next. There we are, pink done for now. Now next I'm going to my light blue. I have my lovely light blue here. Going back up to my sky, using the flat of the pencil. I'm gonna lay it down right at the top here. Here we go again, nice hard pressure and look what's happening. It doesn't look blue. Because it's going over the top of my pink, I'm actually getting a gorgeous purple shade. I like that a lot. So nice and hard as I come down, I am taking off the pressure, lighter and lighter, starting to tickle the paper. There we go. I don't want to hide all of that beautiful pink. So again, I'm taking off the pressure as I come down. Now I do have this lovely light area here. You can leave this light, it's super illuminated. Or if you want to, I'm gonna use the flat and I'm gonna go in and add just a little bit of blue through here. This is my blue sky. At the end of the day, it's going away and being taken over by the glorious colors of the sunset. But here's what's left poking through. Now, you can mix pencil colors just like you would mix paint by laying one on top of another to create a different color. What does yellow and blue give us if we mix them on a palette? Yep, green. So be careful. If you have a lot of yellow going through your sky, if you add blue over the top, you will end up with green in your sky, which is totally fine. If you're doing the sunset on another planet, that's totally fine. This is your art piece, you can do whatever you want. But for this, I want it to stay lovely and blue and yellow in areas. So I'm being very careful not to combine the two. 
There we are. Might just do a couple of blue streaks coming in from the side up here as well. Nice texture in my sky. There we are. Now what's in the sky is down in our water. So here we go again. Starting from the edges, whipping it in. Whew, I wasn't kidding. There are layers going into this pencil color piece. Which is why we shrunk the scale right down. Very good tip for any new pencil color artists. There we are. And the other side, you see how every single color I have added to my sunset is not just in one area. I have taken it through the entire sunset. It's in my sky and in my ocean. Very important that we're sharing our colors throughout the entire piece of work. And even more importantly, we are not closing down our gorgeous pathway of light. This is our light source, our light bulb, which is pushing light out to the rest of the sunset. It is very important that we leave that open. The more we close this down, the darker our sunset will get. And I would like some nice light pouring through mine. There we go. Just gonna make it a little more powerful at the top here. It's one of the gorgeous things about pencil colors is you can just keep on layering, brightening areas, toning them down if you want to with an eraser until you are happy with what you are looking at. Ooh, I like that, wonderful. Where I made this darker, I feel like I need to turn up these clouds a little bit. So I'm gonna sneak my red just along the top edge here. Little curly motion, look at the tip of my pencil. Round and round and round and round. Little curly motion, tickling over the top on either side. Ooh, I like that. Give me a little bit more through. And I just brighten the sky, so it's only fair that I go down and brighten the water as well. There we go. Now I'm happy to leave my sunset right how it is, but now I want to work with the silhouette of whatever I'm going to have in front. Now you can have anything. What would you see looking out into the ocean? Use your imagination, take a second to think. Palm trees, you can have grass sticking up, you can have a skyline of anything, any kind of landmarks going across. You could have a sailboat, a pirate ship, a mermaid tail, a leaping dolphin. The choices are endless. You could even have a UFO flying across the sky. It is your masterpiece. Take a minute and plan a little bit. Now I'm gonna keep mine relatively simple, but people love palm trees. So I'm gonna show you how to do a palm tree. So what I'm going to do is start down low on the left hand side, and I'm gonna creep up, so halfway between my horizon line and the bottom of my page, a little black visual marker. Now I'm gonna go up into my sky, a little higher than my sun over here, and add another black visual marker. One, two. Now it's up to you however you want to join these two visual markers together. You can do a curve, you can do a straight line, you can do a wobble or a loop-de-loop. -loop. This is your masterpiece, however you want to join them. I'm gonna do a little bit of a gentle curve, I think. So from one down to the other. And there I have my palm tree trunk, which is very, very skinny. So I'm gonna thicken it up a little bit now. So it's a little thicker at the bottom and skinnier at the top. That looks a little bit better. Now in order to do my palm tree leaves here, I'm gonna start with the center of the leaf to begin with. So here, just coming out to the side, pencil in the middle, gently creating some little arches. There we go. One, two, three, four. Do you see how they go out and they pull down towards the ground? They go out and over and down, not sticking straight out. That is a style of palm tree. You could absolutely do yours like that. Mine have a little bit more of a relaxed curve to them, coming down. Now I've got my 
little map of where my leaves are going to go, I have this weird looking stick insect coming in from the side. So let's make it look a little more palm tree-ish. So what I'm going to do with a sharp pencil, it is very important that your pencil is sharp for this bit. The duller my pencil gets, the, ma the more I wear it down, the thicker my pencil lines are going to get. And I want nice, thin, sharp lines for this. So I'm starting right in the middle, and I'm going to do, I'm going to press hard, and I'm going to do short, sharp lines that shoot out from the center of my leaf, and on the opposite side as well. Now, if you look, they're not all going straight up and straight down. There is a gentle curve to them. They're following the arch of the leaf as it goes around. So I'm going to do the same here. Gently pulling away. I am pressing nice and hard. I do not want to see sky showing up through the black. So lots of pressure here. Careful not to push your leaves out too far. We've just spent a good amount of time creating these glorious sunsets. We don't want to hide all of this hard work with a massive palm tree. We want to keep it nice and small with lots of detail. Skinny little lines here. Really dig that pencil in. Here we go. And again. No two palm trees are the same, so do not worry if you have something that looks very different to mine. There we go, I'm just darkening it a little bit more in the centre to make it look fuller, where all those leaves come together and cross over in the middle, it's going to be darker and fuller here. There we go, so I have my gorgeous little dainty palm tree. Now I'm going to be clever and get my horizon line to stand out even more by adding a very simple skyline. So if you look out into the ocean and you can see a bit of land coming in, sitting on top of the horizon line, that is what we are doing. So coming in from the side, like that, and then I'm going to do just a random edge that goes up and out. Almost looks like steps. And then nice hard pressure using the point of the pencil we don't want to see any sky through there. This is land. You can't see through land. So nice and dark. Now this is going to be casting a little bit of a shadow in our water here. So again, using the flat and a lighter pressure. I don't want it to be anywhere near as dark as my land. I'm just creating a little bit of a dark reflection in my water. Just there. Lovely. Okay, so I want to just close down the bottom section of my sunset here. I'm going to do, again, you could leave it the way it is here, it looks beautiful. I'm going to do a little bit more and create like a little bit of a wobbly edge down here using just my black pencil. See how bumpy that is? It could be rocks, it could be land, it could be foliage coming in there. I don't know. Just creating a nice rounded bottom to it here. Now again, I'm going to turn my paper to make an easier angle. Always turn your paper. You don't have to twist your arm into awkward angles. Move your paper and make it easier for yourself. And then I'm going to go in nice and dark. When you're doing these black areas, you really understand why we've shrunk the scale down quite a lot. It is hard work. Pause and take a break if you need to. Come back with fresh eyes and relaxed fingers. It's hard work. Nice and dark. The darker you manage to get your black, the more it pops out. So really go in, jiggle the pencil around, nice and dark. Stop and sharpen it as many times as you need to to make sure you have a nice fine point to it. In fact, I would like to do some grass and mine's getting a little bit blunt, so I'm gonna sharpen my pencil a bit here. There we go, I'm back with a nice sharp point here. Now what I'm gonna do next to my tree, starting on the dark area, just like I did with the palm leaves, I am shooting up and creating a little bit of fun 
grass down here and over here as well. There we go. Do as much or as little as you want, if you even want it at all. Just going to pick out my horizon line a tiny bit more over there. Okay, stop. Look at your sunset. Look at the colours. Is your sky screaming at you with bright colours or is it very soft and delicate? Do you like it? That is the most important thing when you are an artist. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, change it. Brighten it. So what I'm going to do is go back in with my pink. I think I can be a little bit more loud with my pink colour going through here. So again, I'm going to apply some pressure and jazz up my sky a little bit. See how it looks on mine before you commit to anything on yours. I'm testing it for you. Oh, I like that, lovely. Very important though, what you do in your sky needs to happen in your water. So I made my pink brighter up top. I gotta make it a little bit louder down below. There we are. Now I made that brighter, I feel like I could make my red streaks along here a little more powerful as well. So starting right on top of my horizon, a little bit louder with the red. When I say louder, I mean brighter. I want colours to be screaming, look at me, super bright. There we are. Same again, down in my water, keeping that little pathway of light going on the bottom of my sun to get it to stand out. Top of my cloud a little bit brighter. And there we go. That is my little sunset to a very small scale using some super basic colors. I've got a mix of Prismacolor and Crayola here. Really doesn't matter what you use. Just explore and experiment with what you have. Now, yours can be done or you can keep working into it. Now, silhouette, I've kept mine simple. Palm tree, some grass, a little bit of land. You can go wild with yours. Add whatever you want to it. If you enjoyed this class, have a go at experimenting with another sunset. You can go crazy with the colors or you can really limit your palette. So before you start, say, hmm, I'm only going to use red, orange, and yellow for this sunset. And have a go at seeing what you can create with just those colors. Or perhaps you just want to do blues, purples, and pinks instead. It's totally up to you. Perhaps have a little bit of sand down here so you can maybe do something on the beach as well. Just remember, very, very important, this is your light source in the middle. Be very, very careful not to close it down. You want to keep this area in the middle super, super bright. Whatever you choose to do, remember the most important thing is to have fun with what you are doing.